Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm gonna do a quick video here on uh, installing a StartX remote start kit on your 2019 to I think 2022 Ram 25 or 3500. Uh, so the truck I'm working on today, I believe this one is a 22 Ram 2500. Um, pretty sure here. Let me look. Yeah, August of 2022. So pretty simple to install this will be uh the fourth one that i've done so um, i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of do a quick video on this there's actually a really good video if you go to this guy if you buy this um they have a link to it there's also their youtube channel so pretty simple um the whole process so basically uh, when you get it open up the box you've got your little control box here um comes with it the wiring harness your USB. This is going to be for the programming side of it, which is pretty, pretty straightforward. I'll try to show that process too. Um, you got a little, uh, your body tool, I guess, or whatever for popping off your panels, which I'll, I'll go over that in a second. Um, your sticker is it if you want to put it on it and then your instructions. So again, it's pretty, it's really simple to be honest guys. So we'll go ahead and kind of jump into this. Um, First things first, you're gonna untake this panel out. So basically you've got two seven millimeter um, bolts down here. If you got an impact with a socket on it, it's a lot quicker. Um, I don't have one with me right now, but I've already kind of loosened these up. So basically you're gonna pull these off. Um, the other one is right here. So, again, it doesn't take a whole lot to get these off. If you have a socket, it's a lot quicker. Um, like I said, I couldn't find my 7mm. I was going to find everything but it. So, we are using a wrench. So, basically, let's pull off. does not want to come out by hand. There we go. Right, so those are off. Um, this is going to pull basically straight back to you. So you can kind of prop that, that in there. Um, and then grab here. Pull here. And then again, this is just going to pull uh, basically straight out to you. And just let it fall fall down there um, the other thing you're gonna pull out is your lights here so maybe here and you're gonna drop that down out of the way as well so the next thing I'm gonna get this wiring harness opened up and I will cut back um, show you where, where this all plugs in all right guys, got the wiring harness here. So basically, here's the two ends um, that you're gonna use over here on the ignition side. So basically, you're gonna reach up in there um, and your start button wires, which are, I don't know how well I can get back in there. Um, I believe they are right there. So I don't know if this is gonna, if I can record this very well, but basically you're gonna reach in there it's pretty simple. You can get it from right here. It's got a press button on it. Push it in. And then just pull it straight back here. So. Well, I say it's pretty simple. This one's. There we go. So, let me see if I can get that pulled down there. There you go. That's the end there that you're unplugging, which again is just off of your uh, start button up here. So not too bad. So then you're going to take and plug that end that you just took off. Um, wherever I put it there, it's not bad. I think it popped back up in there on me. Okay. 
right, so you're gonna take this end here and plug it into the female side of this. So, let's see if I can do this one-handed here. Maybe. Anyway, here, I'll cut right back. I'll plug all that's in and then she'll be able to pull that down. Um, there, you guys can see that plugs in and then you're gonna take the male version back up in there and plug it back into your start stop switch so pretty pretty simple okay so on the other end of this wiring harness you've got this little end here it's got the um, two brown wires in it you're going to take it and plug it into this first green bar here um, basically you can reach right up through here and doesn't really matter which one of these you plug it into um, you can hit any of these open ones but you're going to plug that right there so now if that's plugged in you're going to take your control box here and you're going to uh, plug it in um, down here so and it's pretty pretty straightforward white goes into white blue to blue so the white that's in my hand right now will go right here in the middle. The blue one goes out here on the end, and then your black one goes right here. So I'll get this plugged in. Okay, so you're gonna plug here, here, and then you're gonna plug this black one in last. Just like that. Um, when you're plugging this in, I messed up here, you're gonna hold this little button down while you're plugging this in. Should flash red like that, let up. It's red now. So now we're gonna shut the door here. Um, I'm gonna grab the key to it. Maybe. Tell me. Nope. All right, I got the key here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. You're gonna open the door. Open the door up here. Um, I may have missed it, but you should show a green, a green light. Initially, should light up when you hit the unlock button so many times. Um, I, like I said, I may have missed it because I had to hit it while the door was shut. So we're gonna turn the truck to on, and it should turn green and flash just like that. Once it turns green and flashes like that, you now are going to disconnect everything. So we'll shut the truck back off. Um, you're gonna wanna disconnect the everything, your blue and your white first. So we'll disconnect these. And you're gonna do this black one last. Now we're ready to start the programming side of it. So I'll cut back here in a minute and we'll start that. All right, so we're gonna start the programming process. So basically you're gonna hook in your your box here into your USB and your little cord. Um, pretty simple, just plug that in. Um, it basically plugs into that black port right there. And you're gonna download this app, WebLink, um, for your desktop, laptop, whatever you got, Mac, Windows. And you're gonna click, make a profile. Click here. It should auto detect what uh, vehicle you have. Um, or your deal here. So it's just, you're gonna have this ex start extended programming. You're gonna click that. And you can do multiple um, units. So this is the fourth one that I've done. Once, if you download this and you got multiple trucks or whatever that you're doing. And basically it's gonna start the process. Again, this is super simple. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot. Again, you basically download the app on your desktop and um, create a profile. So, so once it's done, it's gonna prompt that it's complete. Flash complete, successful, click OK. And you are now done. Close out of it and we'll go back out to the truck and 
see if it works. Okay, so I'm back out here in the truck. Again, this is pretty simple. Um, you're basically just gonna plug this back in, uh, plug in everything, and then the black, black one last here. So we'll go ahead, I'm gonna cut back, I'll plug all this in, I'll cut right Okay, back. I got everything hooked up here. Um, you guys can see black wire on that side, your blue and white on that side. Um, again, I'm gonna take this, kind of put this all together and zip tie it right up here to this little bracket here. Um, that's kind of how I've been doing these. So again, this is the fourth one. All of them took about 15, 20 minutes are pretty quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and before I button all this up and close this door and kind of show you guys real quick. So basically shut the door. You're gonna hit the lock button three times. truck starts up go ahead and unlock it uh, basically if you don't do um, anything with it in the first I think it's 15 minutes what the truck will run so if you don't make it out to the truck or open the door unlock it um, put it in gear put your foot on the brake there's a list of stuff there uh, if you don't do that within the first 15 minutes the truck will actually shut off so um, the one the one thing you do have to do if you go with this style kit um, is you're gonna have to make sure you set your AC and heat um, where you want it. So in the wintertime, if you're starting it, you need to make sure that it's set to defrost and hot and the fans up or whatever uh, when you shut the truck off in the evening. Um, otherwise, it's basically gonna go to whatever you have it set at when you turn the truck off. So um, it's, it's not like a factory one where it detects based on the temperature outside and adjusts it. But again, pretty simple. Um, 15, 20 minutes, you can have this thing knocked out. Uh, I think these are like, they're under 200 bucks um, on, I think I got this one off of Amazon, if I remember right, instead of buying it. You can get them from their website, but it's just easier to get them, I think, on Amazon. So, um, again, super, super simple. This is the fourth one I've done. No issues with any of them. So, all of them installed really, really simple and can't complain. So, it's kind of nice to be able to, to do this. I will probably be doing another one in the future on a Hyundai Santa Fe. Um, it's just because of how simple and it, I mean, it really works nice. So um, you're able to keep your, your original key fob here and um, yeah, you don't have another fob or some other crap to carry around. But if you guys have questions on this, um, feel free to ask. Like I said, this the company actually has a really good video on the process, but I kind of wanted to show you guys uh, someone that, you know, outside of the business, uh, putting one in and you know, it truly is that, that easy. So catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.